Hi and welcome to Keep Us Creative Flow. Can you believe it is day 24? Wow, can't believe it. Thank you so much if you've been following me um, and watching the prompts. It's been really fun to like see how it goes. Um, I think it will be even more interesting um, seeing how it goes into the journal because I haven't quite made the journal yet. So, so today's prompt is um, coffee or tea and specimen card. So first time I'm doing a specimen card for a start and the, and the animal for today is a uh, dragonfly. And our fruit as well is passion fruit. I'm just going to write it here. And this is what passion fruit looks like. Sorry, it has been here for a few hours. Um, but it's got like seeds in it. So you don't eat the white pith or the outer bit of it. You just eat the, in you scoop out the inside. And it's a bit tart, if that makes sense. Um, so if you've never tried it before, it's like quite tangy. Um, that's the only way I can describe it. But this has got high levels of vitamin A, which is good for your skin and vision. And it's also got vitamin C, which is um, which has got antioxidant properties. And I've just noticed I'm using this as a mirror. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pop that back on there. Um, let me just pop it to the side, actually. I don't fall over it um, and we'll just put the list to the side as well because I want to show you what the plan is well what I think the plan is I'm not exactly sure yet so let me just pop this book under here so I've got a few things so these are this is um, so this have, these have been die cut out so I'm just going to grab two of each and see if this is going to be useful as a specimen card so I'll just grab one I'll just put, grab two of each this one I've already folded I was just seeing if it would fold and yes it does so we just take that one and then if I click that and then on this side we've got the squarish ones which I think are the typical um, and I want to get one with a bit more play on there. So for example, actually, yeah, just so we've got a little bit of extra if we wanted to. Could use it that. Yeah, we'll definitely use that. Um, we can pull out the yellow one. This is just paper. And um, the other, that was card, like a play lesson card. And then we've got the blue one. Oh no, we've got these as well. At this size, just check. Yep, yeah, that fits. <laughs> and then we'll get the blue one as well. So these were actually for wedding cards. Oh, I thought that folded out then, but it's not. That's fine. So I kept I kept the waste. Oh, I'm just flattening this out before I put it back. No. Come on. Oh, it's attached. Oops, sorry. Oh, there we go. It's attached to something else then. I'm just going to clip this back and then anything that we don't use we can put back. <clears throat> the other thing I've got out are these tea pigs um, packaging. We've got the green tea one and the licorice and peppermint. And I was thinking of flattening them out, drawing the actual circle, but they could actually be used this way as well. We'll have a look and then i've also got this tea hugger and it's already got an aperture in there or oh, and also one more thing um which is this it's a food packaging thing which has been i've wiped it all down and i've cut out a aperture in the rectangle just with the scissors so all i did was fold this in half cut cut and then cut and look it fits it fits our little dragonfly so that could be an option i've also pulled out um the dye mold which could add the specimen label 
and then I've got the date stamp and also just an old calendar from 2018 as you do um, we have got these there is some drag where are you there is dragonfly there which we could use but there's butterflies as well so we could mix it up um, also got this B one from from the the B prompt that we did um, a few other things and then we can get started uh, let's keep the apertures together okay and then I've also got this this is um, butterflies printed on acetate so we could possibly cut here and then attach this to the project because it's fine both sides and this is by Nina Maguire glittergreetings.co.uk this is probably I'd say over 10 years old so where the, when you get if you get hold of it that would be brilliant um, and this could be used for the actual specimen section of the thing in the piggy. right oh I've also got so this has got a beautiful dragonfly on it so that's the dragonfly this one and a pretty butterfly and a bee in that and then I've got some die cuts which we die cut into onto some calendar looks like an old calendar so that's dragonflies as well I've got some cardboard ones and then I've got some tiny um, punched out ones so I don't actually own a dragonfly punch but when I was learning card making um, that was from the teacher's punch I've still got those so they were in my butterfly uh, yeah storage <laughs> I just kept them in my butterfly storage because it's very similar. Right. I don't know where to start. Oh, shall I show you? First of all, let's see what we can use. So, oh, wrong way. So first of all, I've got this book. I don't know the name right there. Oh, yes, I do. So it's at the Pictorial Encyclopedia. And in here, on the back, last page, there's this beautiful a little story of the butterfly but there's this gorgeous one here which could be used so i'm wondering if that will actually fit if that will fit there but it might be it might be too small this might be too big for that i think the, mm, so that's a maybe and then we've got this book which is the one that i have been using for a lot of prompts the living world of nature by collins i think this is 1960 something if i'm not mistaken yeah, 90, yeah 1962 and this has got a couple of pages on the butterfly look how stunning that is it's just like looking at us isn't it <laughs> and then there's one more so I'll to the spiders there and then this one and this one but i'm thinking this one might be in perspective to uh, it might fit into what we're trying to do so like for example if a, we were to put that in there that'll fit perfect so I was thinking maybe we could shall we just start with that first of all so I'm just going to grab a pen all I'm going to do is just draw around this it doesn't have to be perfect it's just going to give me an idea of what to cut so that can be our first task so i'm gonna i am gonna go in the line i hope you guys are doing all right Ooh, going crazy right now <laughs> yeah, it needs to stay in the line because then it will fit into the packaging okay let's have a look now so i think that's the only one we were going to use from this one put that to the side um so if i do that now i know it's not an exact specimen because it's well actually you don't need that yeah i don't ah let's let's leave it for a second <clears throat> you can't see through it if that makes sense it's just mm -hmm. 
don't think we need this bit here either. See how that goes in now. Yeah, that could totally be like that in there. Just wondering how to finish off. Definitely want to neaten that out. And how to, what shall we add to this project? Still got these notes here. Yeah, let's glue that. I'm still using the uh, a panda glue stick. Because I did start this at the start of... Um, December remember and now I'm on the last little bit <laughs> so it's only fair to just carry on with it I'm going to use the back of this um, paintbrush just to pull the rest of it out I know being extra on I yeah I was doing better with my finger before wasn't I I need something smaller hmm Get the pokey tool out actually that might be better and then i'm just gonna rub that down and then let's just pop that like so oh, it's interesting on the back as well because you'll be able to see it from both sides i might be Changing the shape of this to fit the paper. Actually, should we keep that as a writing space? And this has already got coffee and tea on it as well, so it's going with the prompt. I don't think that's stuck very well, as it? I'm going to have to pull out different glue. We go for the Anita's and oh, pulled out these as well. Q-tips. Oh, let me just grab this glass. I'm just going to add some on here. Oh, it's already coming out. <laughs> no need to encourage that one. Right. Um, I'm just going to give that a bit more support. So, back to work tomorrow for us, for me and my other half. It's been a, a lovely few days chilling and, you know... Doing what we want to do. Have some family time, playing games. Yeah. Well, the other half was in the garage most of the day today. I had to call him to tell, his, tell him that his um, cup of tea was and snack was ready. I think he's having a sort out. We could really do with a, um, a fridge in the garage. We haven't got the room inside. So, um, in the house, we've only got the we've only got. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. We've only got, oh yeah, the undercounter fridge. <laughs> got an undercounter fridge and undercounter freezer, which is absolutely tiny. And it's very frustrating. Like today, I've made like a kidney bean, I suppose it's like um, a stew stroke dal. But I have made it slightly like ginger and all that. It's in there. Um, 
But yeah, might as well match the yellow and the white. Yes, I'm hoping it's looking in the sales for that. That would be very nice. Which I'm just thinking, should I do one like this? Because then the the arm, yeah, the wing of that is not quite. Yeek. It's not quite uh, complete. Could you? Get them to join wings, shall we? We're going, um, did I say that who the, okay, so we, this is the Defend Marembra prompts, um, and they're hosted by 49 Dragonflies. Did I even say that? It was hosted by Barbara for, from 49 Dragonflies, hence <laughs> all the dragonflies, but also, um, Louisa Heinzel from, um, Junk Journal Art. Yes, I've said it now. I'm just grabbing the uh, corner punch. Just so it's got... And that's splatter. Could, we could have... Yeah, we still can. We can put a... Um, should we put a blue one there? Or should we stick to the theme of the... Actually, we've got this painted one. Let's use the painted one. Multicolor. And that can go in the sweater. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Could have gone round with it though. Let's get them out. Just going round um, with the vintage photo. Hopefully, let that pop a bit on there. Something stuck to me, or <laughs> packaging, packaging tape. This is the first specimen card. It's not quite a specimen card, but it's almost. So that goes in like this now. Oh. Wiggle it in, wiggle it in. Oh, that looks cute. So that's number one, right? Um, so I'm just thinking, should I undo this so that we've got two bits that we need? Oh my goodness, this is strong stuff. <laughs> okay, but what we want is the bits here, so I'm gonna have to cut this down. Do the other one before we do that we could do the t one maybe we could just put the um yeah. put this in here this would fit wouldn't it either that that the auditioning by the way everyone the auditioning that looks quite cool actually because the wings match this and then we've got this leaf cutter bee Ooh, interesting oh it's on the leaf yep yeah. understand tawny mining bee female long horn bee it's between you two you're auditioning come on show us your stuff mm, see i do really like that as well that really pops doesn't it but then this goes with our design can i use both of them maybe you could and just so you know it's there right so no it's going to be very tight let's see if we can save it from the image anyway so now i was just thinking let's um let me get the black suit Dorba as well. It's already got ink on there, so I'm just going to go in the inside. Because our B is. And shall we? Shall we just go for the end one? 
you know what, that is a lot bigger and it does pop out more doesn't it if you look at it from far yeah let's just do that so instead of um how much should i get the small scissors i'm gonna say instead of um drawing i'm just gonna mark oh, she says i'm just gonna mark it round and then i'm just gonna cut a bit outside of this um marking hopefully i can see it <laughs> oh yeah we can see it so now i'm just going to go slightly outside that point oh i'm going to need a little bit more to glue it down all right all right so no this is not you know using the acetate and the specimen but when we come to these we'll definitely be doing that kind of jazz but we can totally have them like this as well um what do i need tape or i could use the packaging tape that just arrived on the table why not she did you wanna yeah let's just do it very slightly oh god that's a lot just hold and just take some off I was going to film like an hour earlier, but then you could hear this like massive um, buzzing noise from the uh, extractor fan. So I was like, oh, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait till we've done that bit. Oops, so. so come here, friend. Carpenter B. Down a bit, down a bit. Oh, the ink's rubbing on the outside, that's fine. And a bit more. Wow, okay. So now maybe we can... Cover the back there. No. She will be able to do the whole thing with this. Let's cut that down. Do this bit as well. This is so random. This was not part of, this just came. He just wanted to come here. I went to get these things and this just <laughs> they wanted to join the party. Oh, that's so cute. So now, um, let me do the corners. I'm going a bit mad with this corner thing at the moment. And I'm going to have to get some more black soot just to go around these edges. I haven't even checked if this side is straight. We're just going for it, okay. Um, should we put you back on here? I've got a tiny weeny bit left. You can make your appearance tomorrow as well. Right, um, so I was thinking maybe we can, unless we use this green tea label as well, what else we got lying around, just to cover this area, yep you'll do, you've got the job. <laughs> This is what some buttons were on from a charity shop, this piece of card. It had some pretty buttons and I've just put them with the button thing. Because otherwise it's just too confusing. If there's buttons in different places. But what I usually do is put it near the area that I need to go back. Because <laughs> then that way I, need, I know I've got half a chance of them. Um, oh no, I'm ruining my... Oh, sorry. Um, half a chance of finding what is there okay more glue please more glue just a tiny bit more glue that's another tiny bit 
but you'll need it for later, so it's fine. <laughs> By the time you get around to doing that second you it dries out. It is good glue though. Anita's Anita's tacky glue. It's just that the nozzle always gets clogged and it's just very annoying. Oh no, I'm stuck to everything. Yeet. Okay. Which way are we gonna do this? This way? Yep. Let's just tuck it in a bit. And then what I was thinking here is actually creating a like a little pocket, like a small pocket area, if that makes sense. But that won't be seen. In fact, you shouldn't have wasted the packaging on this. Never mind. Oh, um, what were you going to say? Oh, yeah, tape. So let's get, oh, we're going to have to get the fabric tack. We're going to have to get the fabric tack out. Oh, wait. You'll watch me, and this is where we squeal, right? Just trying to do a bead. <coughs> oh, wait. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could have been worse. So I'm just gonna try and spread it a little bit so that it doesn't. Wow. And then we're gonna actually let's just get the clips. Oops, avalanche, and then this one as well. Just to make sure this stay where they're supposed to stay. Right, so that's those two. Those two are happy as Larry. Now let's try and open this packaging out. Okay, there's a seam here. It's very well put together. Very solid, um, nice solid uh, construction. Let's see if we can. No, don't do that. <laughs> it's gonna just tear it for a second. But I don't think we should do that. We should uh, use the scissors. Then we don't have. <laughs> and there'll be less error. Actually, you know what? Instead of even creating two like this, because all I was gonna do is another one on here we could actually just stick these two together and save these for something else my goodness you're a genius i do mean not <laughs> I'm sure you already thought about it i heard you so let's work with Central reservations, please. Central reservations only. How is this year nearly finished as well? Wow. That's another dream, isn't it? Definitely a dream. Yay! Oh my goodness me. Wow, I'm so glad there were two of you to help me out. Okay, so we've got this. This is what I meant. It's already... Oh, couldn't have asked for anything more. And even these guys, wow. They're pretty cool. Little... But I do have to say, you're not exactly the same size. Hmm. What's going on there? One's bigger than the other. What's going on there, tea pigs? Okay, don't worry about that for now. We do need to cut well, we do need to cut off the bombs. Right, try not to get anything everything in the glue if you can help it. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh this is, hasn't got oh it must be in the middle of it. So I'm wondering, should we try 
first thing, which is the easiest thing, and do the butterfly or No, we don't want it sideways, that'd be crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to pop all these to the side. She, in fact, there is a cardboard box. I do really want to use this thingamajiggy. Barcode, that's what it is. You can be used as a glue spreader, and you guys can use that in there. Sorry, that, that door is a bit iffy. But I've got two more books that we can um, indulge in as well. So one is this one. What's it called? The Natural History of Great Britain, Michael Chineri, who's the general editor. And this was in... Look at this. Even front to, um, like, turning pet. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous that is. Perhaps, isn't that a butterfly? Um, that is an actual... Uh, isn't that a dragonfly? Yeah. Wow. And the bird. Let's see if we're in there. Four spotted libulula. Libulula. Wow. Anyway, um, so this was from 1986, reprinted. Beautiful. So where were we? This is a stunning book. I don't want to get in trouble for it being, like, you know, turning too many pages and stuff. But there's this. Um, and there's these. Some... That's the only trouble, they won't fit in there. But that's a damselfly. But these dragonflies, look, the emperor one is massive. What about? Mm. See that, even that way. Uh, what about with a bigger? Even if you, oh, actually, this the butterfly could go in that one. So I don't think we can use that one. Maybe we can use the butterfly in this one. I've got to make sure there's an embossed, like, indent. So let's keep the neat side up and the worst side in. But I'm thinking maybe oh, we can go for a medium one. Oh, yes. Oh. No, you, your wings are missing. So there's that one. That one's a bit tight, but yeah, there is that one as well. I think this one fits a lot better. So I'm just going to snip this out. Let's go for it. Hope it fits the whole thing. I, oh, I don't know if I've lift enough. Oh no, you lift enough acetate, just about. A bit tight there, but otherwise, actually, in fact, I don't have to cut a, a single bit. Uh, shall we use Fabri-Tac? Oh no, wait, need to budge over. You're missing a bit there. You know what? I might do uh, what I'll do. First of all, let's move these out of the way. What I will do is tack it down first. Let's just grab something. Some masking tape or something just to keep it in place. Oh. And then, actually, in fact, then we can just um, just seal it again because we can add this fabric tack all around this frame. We don't have to worry about the, um, actually I do need to trim a tiny weeny slither here. Just a tiny weeny. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. So I'm just going to do my exercise, my hand exercises, you know, as you do every day. Oh. making a mess okay you stick it inside the oh no don't go there okay do it fast enough so that you can place the other one on top 
without this one drying so much. I hope my head's not in the frame. I'm literally looking down on this. Sorry if it is. <laughs> okay, right. Right, you go off the centre bit. And we could easily, even after this is put together, we could easily... Um, oh gosh, don't you stick on there. No, 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 no. What was I saying? Yeah, we could easily colour this in with like alcohol markers or something. Oh no, that's on the other side, that's fine. Oh, sorry, I just in a just gonna try to remove this. Right, you best get on with it because it's gonna <laughs> Okay, we do have a tiny, weeny, weeny, weeny bit of wiggle room. You can put it in place. I'm just going to press, press, and press. Oh, a few. <laughs> oh. There we go. Right, I'm going to trim that. Not too far in because I'm not sure what i'm doing yet so we'll just straighten out whatever's on the overhang kind of giant thing stay in the line good okay i totally do have a guillotine yep it's right up there i'm so lazy oh good <laughs> it's just faster with the scissors it's probably not straight at all but um, Okay, need a bit more here. Yes, yeah, so that is our one, another one. I'm sure this is dry now. So I might need these shortly. So yes, yeah, so, and oh, some coming out the side here. Yeah. That can, I think that just rubs off. Try not to rub it onto the table. I've already got enough coming on there. So the tea hubbers can possibly get something in there. Right, so you are that, you are that. Next, we have we do have another book as well actually. Let's see what the pictures are like in there. Oh my gosh, we've got a lot of books. And then we we can print a stamp as well. So this one's called The Joy of Nature and it is by Reader's Gi Digest. <laughs> never can say that properly and this was in from 1978 so if you're looking for it that's where it is we just digest and i put a mark I put some coffee and tea coffee and tea but look at this du, du, du. how beautiful is that isn't it beautiful and the scenery that is that could just be a page by itself nothing else needed so yeah, this is from a soya cafe, Alpro soya coffee drink. And then we've got another coffee. <laughs> this gorgeous beauty. But I'm wondering where are we going to, uh, where will it fit? Because, so let me just, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to just fall in this glue in a minute. So let me just, let's just park you. There, <laughs> she says precariously. Um, you guys can go over here, and you guys are kind of um, so you can sit on this book over here. And um, let's have a look at what frames we've got because we've got um, I've only got a black and white printer, hence why these are this color. But we could just do a quick swoosh of an ink pad and they'll be ready as well. So, maybe you could go in there. The only thing is, it's only going to be one sided, isn't it? It's not a. Yeah, we could put it in the acetate. But then we'll have to cut out another one and it won't be the same. Urgh. Okay, first of all, let's go. Is that our biggest piece then? This is our biggest piece. Just thinking, no, it's not going to fit this gorgeous one either. 
No. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Plan. So I think that was all there was in that. Yeah. I don't want a fish specimen. Specimen. No, there wasn't anything else. Okay. No problem. And we could go back to that first book that I showed you. See if any of these frames. Oh, yeah. Frames fit this. That that could go with that. Oh, yep, yeah, blue. The blue can go with this dragonfly. Oops, don't rip the thing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's cut these out. Maybe we could just cut that out and then put it on acetate and then cut, well, cut it out twice basically and another card as well. And then, oh, while, while we're in business. Nope. Did you actually fit on there? No. Oh, you will. Let's, let's pop you in there. Did we already say this? I can't remember now. Okay, we're going to cut everyone out now. Choose you. Yeah, did we try this one? Let's do an angle. Oh yeah, you will fit that way. Of course you will. Actually, this is the same thing. This would this be better? This or this? It doesn't matter because it's going to get swooshed with some ink anyway. I might go for the this one. Yeah, let's go for that one. And then we could do a stamp for this one. And this one. Yep. Okay, look. Actually, put your dragonflies in the same pot. There you are. Okay. I'm very conscious of um, my memory on my... Excuse me. So I have been deleting videos as I've uploaded them because they've been getting because I've had some time off so I've just been chilling <laughs> with the recordings. So I'm just gonna tear this out. Oh that was it as well. We had um, these images on this side. Maybe we have this. Death Watch Beetle, the Death Watch Beetle, Common Wasp, Ladybug looks really cute, it will pop up on the um, yellow on it, so let's, um, what's behind, oh you're even cuter, oh you have to come, you have to come, you are having a tour, this tortoise, sorry chameleon, I'll leave you in there. Not your day today. Oh no, have I left enough room? Oh, it's going to go on acetate, it's fine. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Okay, I stick to the plan. So I'm wondering... Let's move this book out of the way so we can concentrate on... Look at... It's literally... It's dead. I think it was a withdrawn book. 20p. Absolutely gone. But we're still giving it new life. It's all good. Did we say no? We haven't decided for this, did we? No. So these guys are going to go in there. That's um. We were going to cut all this out. You know what? Let me pause it and then I'll cut all these beauties out and do a back to them as well, and then I'll come back. So these have all been cut out now. So I'm just going to pop them to the side. So all I did was line it with this um, tea dyed square paper. So that's what is on the back of these now. So nothing, nothing major. So that that's all that's happened so far. I'm just going to pop them to the side because I've got now um, 
this dragonfly stamp. So I'm wondering what to stamp it on. <laughs> I don't think it's going to fit in. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in any. So I should prioritise this actually. So I'm going to get a Versa water, Versa mark, Versa watermark stamp pad. <laughs> so I'm just going to. Oh gosh, it's not it's moving. So I'm just going to tack this. This is like a tacky. this on there and we're going to emboss this if we can I might as well do two just in case one doesn't turn out good let's push down okay so now we've got some so we just went for the silver but should I get the gold seeing as we've got I suppose it Mm. Oh, you're, you're there now, so you might as well. But the the gold will pop up more on the that packaging. So it's just to heat it up, gold embossing. I'm just going to pop the pad out the way. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Just make sure it goes everywhere on the image. And just give it a bit of a tap. If there's bits which, which go where you don't want them, just you can just, at this point, um, take them off. I'm just going to put our, move this out of the way so it doesn't spill. Now our heat gun is ready. Watch the candle. I'm just going to, sorry, this is going to be a bit noisy. Or should I move it to the side? But it's interesting watching this turn, isn't it? So I'm just going to, um, so cute and it's good that we did two because then we can actually attach them so they're not going to fit in here but we could overrule one of our other ones and add it into here yeah let's get that in behind some acetate i'm just going to cut this out And that stamp um, set is by the Crafty Individuals. It was a free stamp with a magazine many years ago. So just use what you have or use books or like, you know. Okay, so now this is the tricky bit because I want I need to make sure I cut the other one exactly the same. So when they're together within the as I'm not sure. One moment. There's two ways of doing this, isn't it? You can do the acetate in the middle and then add the. Well, let's have a look. We're going to have a play anyway. There's no need for me to do this many, is there? <laughs> I think I'm just going a bit crazy with this, uh, this 
pumped today. Um, embossing is so magical, isn't it? You know, when you watch that turn from like powder to this beautiful, just amazing. Hope work's not too busy tomorrow. Got a um, meeting with my uni mentor as well, so it should be interesting. It will be just a like a catch up. Oh, don't cut into it. That's it. Stay. Right, okay. Get the acetate ready. So you need an edge, don't we? So these are pieces, this is packaging. So let me see. Let's do this edge. This looks a bit bubbly. So I'm just going to cut along this side. Okay. And then let's... So where's the other one gone just now? Oh, here you go. <laughs> You get over there. <laughs> I'm just wondering. So the acetate, the viscous I'm out of it. And then the dragonflies, if we stick them together. And how does that stay in place there though? Oh, I could use a bit of glue, I suppose. I might do one. Actually, would it be okay to do one on the outside and then one on the inside? We won't be able to see this glue, would we? Just do it, come on. Okay, couple fix. Or should we just use tacky? No, fabric fix will be faster. It's just harder. Right, um, I'm just going for it. So we're going to tack this. And then just put that directly onto here right to the edge and then it's cut out exactly how much we need right you could always fussy over it after And then, so this opens like this now, because we had an edge, and then, see this is the bit now what I'm confused about, so do we, how do we attach this? Let's put a tiny dab. On the, on the, like these wings, possibly. The tiniest of dabs. Oh, you stay there, please. I need to do some research on how to do this. And then we attach 
this one the back right Close this in place, I'm hoping, and then we go round again. Actually, we need to seal this as well. Seal the bottom of it, or whatever you can. And then let's seal... So try not to get this dirty because we need that for another one. And then let's put this one. I don't think it will match exactly. It will match this way, but not this way. But so there will be a slight difference. Okay. So now and get that straight as we can oh no I've got a bead of glue somehow here <laughs> that's fine, that's good so now we can trim this down hopefully that will all stay about the glare but that's the cutest little specimen thing um so we've got these as well so we're gonna prioritize because i know we're already over our time sorry it always happens doesn't it so or shall i do them because i've already done one let me do them and then come back i'm going to pause again okay i managed to do a few but i need to it's it takes it takes quite a while to do them i'm going to just do my quote so i'll do it on the back of here um she says once she finds the pen and the quote states it is written in the melody of Rag Soret and it is by Guru Amar Das Ji, who is the third Guru of the Sikhs, and it is within Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, that's just abbreviated, and they are the living Guru of the Sikhs. And this sermon or hymn is on Ong 650, which means limb. I'm just going to do a swirl, okay. And then it says, O oh Lord, you are kind and compassionate. semicolon you give your gifts even you give your gifts oh there should be a two there oh no This is the first time I've got that incorrect. I've just got my Tipex mouse. Let's see if this will. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm just. 
Right, okay. You give your gifts to even worms and insects among the rocks. Okie doke. So, oh, close quote, quote marks. So that's the quote. Um, so with this last one, I was just, so what I've done, I've put in the cellophane, but I've kept it like a pocket. So this will go in like this. Um, and our dragonfly, we're going to use a sticker for this one. Actually, you could go in either way. Unless I do, does that still fit? Yes, it will. I'm just going to fold that in half, the number showing. Just pop that in again. Just so we know where to put that. We could put it there, right? So if you put one on the actual front, because we've got a few. So then we can add one on the actually it's not necessary to put it on the eh you don't know what you mean. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking should we put one on this side? Just so that it's got the embossing on both sides then. Yep. And then this can be closed. Hang on. So, yeah, you want the pink one to the front. Cool, cool, cool. So then this can be closed like this. If I had the sewing machine, I totally would have done that. But we're going to use the Fabri-Tac. So I'm only going to... Uh, so like I can do that and then just this. Because we want to still access this point. Actually, I might not even do it that far. Let's just do it a diagonal. And these are going to have to be embellished another time because, yeah, we ran out. Definitely, I'm sure everyone's going to sleep now. I'm just trying to go around this. Actually, no, don't do it on there. <laughs> so, put that up. And then could somehow use this to add something else like a label or something so that's how that looks like and you can still off this side you can still access our note that we've just done but the dragonflies are connected now not connected but you know what i mean they're on both sides and um, so this is what the turtle looks like it's just got glue so one that will dry clear and this is one of the dragonflies this is a very cute embossed one. And we had the one which was on acetate. Oh, got a few going on. Got crazy with this prompt, didn't we? Um, then we've got our tree tea huggers. Um, image there. And then this one final one which was this and that was and we could always add another actually shall we do that now no <laughs> it needs a background doesn't it it needs something covered and then but for the moment that's yeah we can we can add something later I did want to add brads and then decorate it. I pulled out some stamps and numbers, but again, sorry. Uh, maybe I'll show you next time how we finished it. Um, take care for now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> take care. Bye.